Greetings, this is Dr. Sandra Gabot and welcome to my video about hepatitis caused by the viruses hepatitis C and hepatitis B. Let's start with hepatitis C. It is estimated that 170 million people worldwide are infected with the hepatitis C virus. March 2021 was the five-year anniversary of the introduction of curative drug treatments for the hepatitis C virus. These drugs, known as direct acting antivirals, abbreviated to DAA, have changed the course of history for hepatitis C sufferers, bringing tremendous physical and emotional relief. We have come a long way with these drugs, providing a greater than 90% cure rate, but we cannot afford to get complacent. It is vital that people are aware of the way hepatitis C can be transmitted, how easy it is to be tested for hepatitis C infection, and the importance to get early treatment. How to reduce the risk of hepatitis C transmission? Never share or reuse injecting equipment such as needles, tourniquets, spoons, swabs, water or any other equipment. 90% of new infections occur this way. Wash your hands in hot soapy water before and straight after injecting or use new alcohol swabs. Dispose of sharps and injecting equipment in an approved disposal container. This is supplied by your needle and syringe program. Treatment with direct acting antiviral drugs is effective and safe and results in viral clearance from the body, known as a sustained virological response or SVR in the vast majority of patients. A sustained virological response usually lasts a lifetime and produces a reduction of hepatitis C related liver disease and risk of death. However, it is good not to get complacent. As after treatment with these drugs, some patients may still have a major risk of progressive liver damage. This can lead to liver cirrhosis, liver failure, and liver cancer. This is the result of ongoing chronic inflammation in the liver. Let's look at modern antiviral drugs to treat hepatitis C in 2023. Direct acting antivirus hepatitis C medications. Many studies have shown that direct-acting antiviral drugs can effectively remove the hepatitis C virus from your body more than 90% of the time. Direct-acting antivirals are medications that act to stop the hepatitis C virus replicating. The duration of treatment with DAA medicines varies in length from 8 to to 24 weeks. These drugs are taken orally. First line direct acting antiviral medications that offer a combination approach to treatment include Harvoni, Sepatia, Epclusa, Vasivi, and Maviret. Interferon based hepatitis C therapies. Another medication option for treating hepatitis C is interferon, which is given via a weekly injection. Interferon is injected into areas of the body with a layer of fat between the skin and muscle, such as your thigh, the outer surface of your upper arm, your stomach or your buttocks. Interferon treatment is given for around 48 weeks and can cause more adverse side effects than those experienced with oral DAA drugs. Many patients quit interferon treatment early because of side effects. 
Despite this, there may be times when interferon therapy is recommended. Studies have found that interferon-based therapy is less likely to reactivate the hepatitis B virus in patients who also have hepatitis B as well as hepatitis C when compared to those receiving oral DAA-based treatment. Hepatitis B infection. Chronic hepatitis B, abbreviated to CHB, infection is a major public health problem worldwide, with around 400 million people affected. Patients with chronic hepatitis B have a 15 to 40 percent chance of developing cirrhosis, liver failure, and liver cancer in their lifetime. The risk of having liver cancer is increased by more than 100 to 200 fold compared to non-infected people. Currently, two classes of drugs are available for the treatment of chronic hepatitis B. These are pegylated interferon and nucleoside or nucleotide analogues known as NA. Interferon has been superseded by the growing success of nucleoside nucleotide analogues. However, viral resistance to NA drugs is a problem. Newer NA drugs such as entecavir and tenofovir have very low viral resistance rates and good safety profiles. Long-term use of these agents can effectively suppress hepatitis B virus DNA, leading to a decrease in liver inflammation flares, as well as in the development of cirrhosis and liver cancer. Current treatment strategy of chronic hepatitis B is to achieve prolonged and effective viral suppression. Unlike treatment for hepatitis C, the drugs used in hepatitis B do not eradicate or totally kill the hepatitis B virus. There is a chance of viral rebound if NA drugs are stopped, even when the serum HBV DNA levels have declined to levels below the detectable limits of PCR testing. With the availability of entecavir and more recently tenofovir, prolonged effective suppression of the hepatitis B virus can be achieved with long-term treatment. It is likely that the complications with chronic hepatitis B, including cirrhosis and liver cancer, will decrease in the future with these newer drugs. However, more studies on the safety profiles and efficacy on long-term use of these newer agents are required. A safe and effective vaccine that offers 98% protection against hepatitis B infection is available. Preventing hepatitis B infection prevents the development of complications, including chronic liver disease and liver cancer. It is a very good vaccine. Let's look at nutritional medicine for hepatitis. The DAA drugs and interferon are designed to eradicate the hepatitis C virus or suppress the hepatitis B virus but they do not directly repair liver damage caused by the hepatitis C or B viruses. Being overweight and having a fatty liver will enable the hepatitis C virus to damage your liver more. A low carbohydrate diet high in protein and vegetables is beneficial. To see details of the best diet for a fatty liver, watch my video series on the liver. To reduce liver inflammation and the development of such severe liver diseases, 
I recommend the following. Keep your weight in the healthy range. Avoid excess alcohol. Avoid getting a fatty liver. Avoid overuse of acetaminophen and other potentially liver toxic drugs. Supplements to help liver repair are Livertone Plus, which contains the clinically proven dose of milk thistle combined with selenium, antioxidants, activated B vitamins, N-acetylcysteine and glutathione. Livertone Plus is the most comprehensive liver formula available and has been tested in a clinical study of patients with liver inflammation caused by fatty liver. Livertone Plus contains selenium, which has proven antiviral and anti-cancer effects and reduces viral replication. A study showed that the serum selenium concentration in hepatitis B and C patients is less than serum selenium concentrations of healthy individuals. Hepatitis C viral infection is linked with low blood levels of antioxidants, including selenium, and elevated levels of oxidative stress. Four-year animal studies show that a nutritional supplement of selenium decreased the hepatitis B virus infection by 77.2%. Very good result. These results indicate that the serum selenium concentration in hepatitis B and C patients is less than the serum selenium concentration in healthy individuals. Serum selenium decline is relative to the severity of disease. Based on findings of this study, it is proposed that selenium should be supplemented in such patients to optimise nutritional support and to get a better treatment response. A controlled clinical trial has found that selenium can effectively reduce the viral load in HIV infection. There are many studies on selenium and we know that it has good antiviral effects. Extra NAC may be beneficial as well to boost glutathione levels. Glutathione cleanses the liver and reduces liver inflammation. It is important to keep looking after your liver even if the DAA drugs have eradicated the hepatitis C virus, as this can reduce the risk of cirrhosis and liver cancer in the future. So overall, the outlook for hepatitis patients is very positive, and I hope this has given you inspiration. So thanks for listening, and if you like this video, click like and subscribe.